Hello everybody, welcome to day number four of the custom mail-in tournament with the evil clown car. In our first group we shall introduce Bear Chomp, Rex Cars, Sailor Moon, and Isa Khan. As we begin, Isa Khan and Rex are taking a bit of a lead, but there goes Isa Khan suddenly speeding up and taking a decent sized lead over everybody else as the lanes split, and that lead just keeps getting bigger and bigger, which could be trouble once that clown car is triggered. For those of you tuning in for the first time, when that clown car is triggered, if the clown car finishes in front of you, you will not get any points even if you do cross the finish line. So you want to stay in front of that clown car if possible, but if you have a racer far ahead of everybody else, it's going to be difficult. Which is the case here as Issa Khan crosses the finish line first, and it is the clown car who will finish in second, so the other three racers will not get a single point. One of them did finish, the other two look to be stuck. Bearchomp tried to push one of his fellow competitors forward, but it was not enough. And Isakhan finished around 17.6, I believe. The fastest time so far is still held by Arlo, finishing at 17.1. Some races have gotten close, finishing around 17.2, but so far, Arlo holds on to that title. And I know I said in the previous video that Rebel Racer was the only undefeated racer as of now, but that is not actually correct. Somebody pointed out to me that Uncle Fokker also is undefeated. They got really close on one of their races as a clown car was mere centimeters from passing them, but Uncle Fokker has not lost a race yet, so it is Uncle Fokker and... Rebel Racer. For now in this group though, Issa Khan is the only one to get points. So that is a big deal right there. You know, Rex, look at the, Rex seems to stay alongside Issa Khan up until the point where the lanes divide. And then Issa Khan finds some way to get a burst of speed and now they have a decent lead. It doesn't seem to be as big as before. And that clown car looks to be competing with Rex right now. But Issa is sitting comfortably in first place, heading towards the finish line once again. They seem to have a little bit of trouble staying straight for the most part. But they managed to do it. They do want to be careful in the future though. Meanwhile, Rex is finishing in second. Actually, all the racers might be finishing here. And as I say that, two of them fall just short, so they still won't get any points. But that does raise the question, where is the clown car? We don't see any sign of it. We're looking for it right now, and it is probably stuck somewhere. And that is the case. Not only are they stuck, they're upside down. It's entirely possible that they landed on top of somebody, and that is exactly what happened. Rex got far enough forward that they were able to throw the clown car off their game, and everyone was able to pass them as they all went towards the finish line. But still, only two people finished. And I believe Issa Khan was really close to breaking the record, and they are off by just one one-hundredth of a second to at least tie it. So unless their first time was faster and I missed that, Arlo still holds on to the record. One of those two might get points here, but we'll see what the judges say. Yes, they will. Sailor Moon broke the plane far enough to the point where that counted, so they will get some points. They are still just behind Rex, though, so they got some work to do. And now this setup is looking a little bit more familiar, although... Rex seems to be keeping up with Issa a little bit better now. I'm sure they want to stay in front of that clown car. I mean, obviously they do. But considering how far Issa Khan gets from everybody else, that has been a challenge. And from what I saw, there does seem to be a glimpse showing that the clown car was in front of Rex. We'll see if that remains the case. For now, here comes Issa going for that third win. And they have the record! It is 16.87 now. And... 
I believe no one else was able to finish in front of the clown car. Bear Chomp keeps getting so close to that finish line, but with the clown car finishing in front of them, even if they did finish, it would not matter. But that just shows how dangerous this clown car is. If you can finish, or at least get far enough ahead of your competition early on, you can very quickly shut down their chances for any of them. But look at how fast Isa moved here. 16.87. Just about two tenths and some change faster than Arlo was. And now I believe Isa is the only person so far to break the 17 second mark. But for right now, after three races, Isakhan is the only one to finish every time, and in front of the clown car no less. Right now, if the points stay the same as they have been, Rex will be the one to move on, which is weird to say when you think about the fact that they currently only have three points. I want to say, actually, that Isakhan was guaranteed to move on after only two races, which is highly unusual. But they are the one to trigger the clown car, but Rex actually has a few lengths of a lead over the clown car right now. So as long as they stay in front of everybody else, even if they don't finish in front of the clown car, as long as they finish before Sailor Moon and Bear Chomp, they will move on, and it looks like they will so Rex Car just doubled their overall points. So they will be moving on. Isa Khan easily moves on. Now holding on to the title of the fastest time. So I'm sure they have a good chance of staying undefeated when going into the final round. In the meantime, we'll have to see who will, who will be, rather, in the second group to go up against them. Each and every time, Issa just has a huge lead over everybody else. Rex sometimes gets relatively close, but not to the point where it makes much of a difference. Did Sailor Moon cross the plane that time? Yes, they did, so we'll probably get more points there. But they stopped Bear Chomp from going any further. So Rex Cars and Issa Khan will progress. Now let's meet our second group for today. We have Lucky 2.0, Rico the Robot, Lero, and Iceman. As we begin, it is Iceman who has that lead and it is quickly growing. They're in that first lane going around the turn and as the lanes split, they do currently have the lead, but here comes another one of his competitors trying to pass him. He wants to try and stay in front of him as the lanes merge, but they could not do it. I believe that is Lero who just passed him. But now here comes Iceman trying to take it back, but they went around the outside, so they were unsuccessful. And I believe that is Lero going around the final turn ahead of him. And they will finish in first. Yes, they will. A bit slower than our last group, but they finished well in front of the clown car. But the other two in this pack were not so fortunate. In fact, considering how long it took the clown car to get there, and the fact that we don't even see the other two, it appears they will likely have gotten stuck somewhere. Yep. Lucky 2.0 wasn't so lucky as they got stuck up there. And then I believe that's Rico who got stuck even further back. You can see the competition between these two constantly going back and forth, and look at that! The clown car going down the ramp immediately does a no- excuse me, immediately does a nose block to stop Rico. Which would also explain why it took the clown car so long. In fact, he almost came to a stop. He was way back there where Lero and Iceman had already finished. I guess there was just enough downhill momentum for the clown car to go around this bend here and cross the finish, but even then, it took them a while 
because they were so focused on stopping Rico. So for now, Lero has the lead. Iceman in second. Let's see if they can stay in front of the clown car each and every time. As the race begins, there goes Iceman. Rico seemed to have a promising start, but Lero is passing them right now. So it looks like it'll be a competition between Iceman and Lero for the moment. As the lanes come back together, Lero is out in front right now, but Iceman is trying to find his way around him. He successfully pulls it off this time. So now Iceman is the one in the lead. And that late lead, excuse me, seems to be getting bigger. They go around the final bend, heading towards the finish line. They are shaking a bit, but they correct themselves and they take the lead. So Lero and Iceman have both been denied a chance to stay undefeated. And the only person that can come out of this with that distinction is Issa Khan. But we'll have to see how they perform in the final round. It almost looked exactly the same with Lero and Iceman going underneath that ramp where the clown car comes out. So they are sure to have a bit of bitter rivalry going forward. And we're not sure what was different there. Maybe it was the lanes they were in, but Iceman had a distinct lead there. Meanwhile, the clown car actually pushed Lucky forward. So Lucky will be getting at least some points here. Rico the Robot, not so much. But Lero and Iceman are currently tied. But as long as they both stay in the top two, both of them will move on. And considering how these races have gone so far, that seems like a very high possibility. But now Iceman did start off with a decent lead. But Lero is once again trying to catch back up to him. Has the inside lane. Can they make use of that? So far, no. And that clown car has been triggered not too far behind Lero right now. And Iceman is looking to keep that lead growing bigger and bigger. They approach the final turn, heading towards the finish line. No one anywhere near them. And they finish in first with a very good time of 17.38. And Lero barely finished in front of the clown car in second. So Rico and Lucky will get zero points once again because the clown car finished in front of both of them. The clown car almost tripped up Lero there, but he was about two lengths behind him, so he wasn't able to catch it. The Iceman was not too thrilled that Lero finished in front of them in that first race, and I guess that motivated them to go even faster and finish in first these last couple of races. But at least everybody crossed the finish line this time, which the last group wasn't even able to do. But now Iceman has the lead in points. Lero and Iceman, given the fact that they finished every time, in first and second respectively, both of them are guaranteed to move on at this point. It's just a matter of whether or not Lero can at the very least tie with Iceman. But somehow he's just much further back right now and it is actually Lucky who is in second currently, at least from the looks of things. But Iceman has a big lead here and the clown car is in contention with both Lero and Lucky. So Iceman is trying to stay focused as they head towards the finish line one more time in this leg. And they will cross the finish line in first. Meanwhile, I think that's a clown car actually all the way in the back. Is everyone going to finish in front of him? As I say that, we get a traffic jam where Lucky is flipped over and no one else will finish. Thankfully, that happened on the final straightaway. So we'll get another angle showing exactly what happened. It looked like the clown car did trip up Lero a little bit there. Shaking things up for sure. And you can see how slow that traffic got after the clown car was triggered by Iceman. And they took full advantage of this opportunity and had a decent sized lead going in to first place. 
He looked at, it looks like Lero was not too happy with Lucky being in front of him, so he flipped him over. But in return, Lucky stopped everybody else from finishing. But that doesn't matter too much to Lero, as they will join Iceman in the final round, which will start right now. So far, Isakhan now has the fastest time, and they are the only one out of this group that can come out of it undefeated. For now, it is actually Iceman who has the lead. Can they hold on to it, though, considering how fast Issa Khan moves? So far, no, but they lunged forward, and they're trying to pass Rex. But it is Issa who now has that lead. Can they keep it? They have been doing some fishtailing, especially as they get closer to the finish line. So we'll see if that affects them or not. But now they have a big lead heading towards the finish line. They do fishtail a little bit, but they correct themselves, and they finish with 17.33. And I believe at least Rex and Iceman both finished in front of the clown car. In fact, by the time the clown car was triggered, they were all the way in the back of the pack. We'll check the replay just to be absolutely sure, but that clown car is way back there. So it's actually possible that everybody finished in front of it. Here comes Isa, they finish. Iceman in second. Rex and Lero both in third and fourth respectively. Yep, everybody finished in front of the clown car. This is why they are in the finals, because they are able to pull things like this off. Now Isa is looking to stay undefeated. So far they have one win under their belt, they need three more. A not too slow start. Iceman did have the lead up until that point where they turned, and now Isa has that lead. The lanes are merging. Iceman currently in second. Isa triggers that clown car. And it looks like everyone is once again in front of it. But Lara wasn't too far in front of that clown car, so we'll see if the clown car can pass him or Rex right now. The Iceman is trying to make something happen, but Isa is making it difficult. Finishing in first once more. And from the looks of things, the clown car was not able to pass anybody again. I'm sure if that clown mask could right now, they would not be smiling because of what just happened. But all four are in front of that clown car. They were actually pretty evenly spaced for the most part. As we go around the bend here, here comes Isa, here comes Iceman, followed closely by Rex and Lero, but that clown car was staring Lero down, but didn't have enough to pass them. So now Isa Khan is one win, oh, excuse me, one win away from moving on, and two wins away from staying undefeated. So out of the four days of races we will have had, if Isa Khan can pull this off, we will have three undefeated racers, which in races like this is actually pretty good. You usually see more undefeated racers like this in the drag races. Now Isa Khan, as they triggered that clown car, they did shake a bit. So they, loses, so they lose a little bit of speed, but their lead is big enough that they were able to recover and stay in front. Going around the bend, they almost start spinning actually. But they do finish in first once more. And the clown car does take a victim here, and I believe it was Lero. Let's see where Lero was, and the clown car was triggered. They were actually slightly behind, and I guess they were never able to pass the clown car. Whereas Rex and Iceman were able to hold on to some semblance of a lead over that said vehicle. Although Iceman was cutting it close a little bit. And they almost tripped up Rex by the end. But Rex stayed in front of Iceman. And we'll see how that affects the points. Rex finishing in second did just cut it a little bit closer with Iceman. Meanwhile, Issa Khan is just one win away from staying undefeated. Now if Rex finishes in front of Iceman again... We will likely have to do a tiebreaker to see who moves on alongside Isa. 
Speaking of which, look at Issa Go taking off around that turn, leaving everyone in the dust. Well, they have a big enough lead to keep the clown car in front of the other three. So far, actually, no. It looks like Lero is once again the only one behind the clown vehicle. Here comes Issa, and Iceman, I believe, was in second. So if they finish in front of Rex, and it looks like they will, they'll be the one to move on, and that is the case. So a valiant effort by Rex. They kept it interesting. But it will be Issa Khan and Iceman moving on to the next round. Whereas the clown car not only denied Lero any points by staying in front of them, but neither one of them actually finished. The clown car stayed upside down right after landing. And considering they were in front of Lero, Lero did not have what they needed to push past them. So let's look at this finish one more time. Issa Khan will stay undefeated. So out of the four days of races we've had so far, three undefeated, excuse me, three undefeated racers have come out of it. So Iceman will be the one moving on. Rex kept it close, but no cigar. So here is your lineup as of now. Thank you all so much for watching. See you for the next round.